guys welcome back to my channel today i thought i would just do a quick little haul of what i got while we were in florida i did do some shopping which i'll upload my vlog maybe before this maybe after but yeah i thought i would just show y'all what i got so i can start putting this stuff up because i've not put it up yet we are home um <clears throat> When did we get home? Yesterday. Yesterday was Thursday. We got home yesterday morning. So, I thought I would just show you all this stuff so I can start putting it up and everything. I also uploaded a video, a vlog of us trying a Popeye's, or me trying the spicy chicken sandwich from Popeye's. I will link it down below so you can go check that out. And then I do have a actual vacation kind of vlog that's coming up as well. But yeah, I'll just, I'm surrounded by bags. So let's just get started. So I guess I'll just start with Forever 21. I didn't get much at Forever 21. I'm not a huge fan of their stuff. And then when I went in, they must have been, it was in the Palm Beach outlets and they must have been like taking the plus size section out of the Forever 21 or something because it said that it's moving. But like, I don't know where else the plus size section will be moving um so i don't know but i got a couple things so the first thing i got was just this cute little headband that you can wear like while you're doing your makeup or like when you're washing your face this was 4.99 i just thought it was cute i've always wanted one of these and they have them at like ross marshall's ulta they've got them everywhere but I just decided to pick it up because my hair does get really wet when I wash my face and stuff. So, I just got that. And then I got this scrunchie. I've been looking for a cute cheetah print scrunchie. And this was $2.99 at Forever 21. And then I got this pack of earrings, which I think on a sign it said they were like four bucks or something. Um... It's just got some like little hoops and then some studs up here. And I really like these hoops that have like the little diamonds on them. So the regular price was $7.99, but I think I paid like four something for all, like this whole set, I think. And then I just got a pair of black swimsuit bottoms. They're just, just swimsuit bottom bottoms. <laughs> Um, I figured like you could pretty much get any kind of top to go with these and they looked really comfortable. So I don't have many swimsuits cause like the last little bit, I've just started getting into actually wearing swimsuits and stuff. So I got these and I think they were on a rack and I thought they were on sale, but I'm pretty sure I paid the $14.90 for them, which I mean, still not bad. So I got those and then... This was on a rack for $7, I think, and it was normally $17.90, and it's just like a little black skirt. I've always wanted one of these, but I felt like with my body shape and body type, they don't look good, but I figured for seven bucks, like I can try it. I didn't try it on, so I've yet to see if it actually looks good, but it's got these cute little button detail in the front so I figured I could always you know try it on if I don't like it I can try to sell it or something donate it I don't know I don't know but I thought it was cute and then the last thing I got there was just these leggings which were also seven dollars and they've got like this band up here that's kind of like textured and I felt like it would like hold you in pretty good and they're just plain black leggings. And they're like a different material. So, I thought those were nice. So, that's all I got there. I think all together I spent like 43 something. So, not bad for what I got. So, that's all I got there. And then, I went and grabbed like a few random things at Target. I'm not even sure if all of my Target stuff is here. It might be. Um, I did get a pair of Wild Fable leggings, which I've already worn, so they're not in here. But, 
um, where we normally stay was they were having like a golf tournament and stuff. So the hotel that we normally stay at was way, way overpriced than what we've ever paid at the hotel. And it's always really nice. We take our dog. He's allowed to stay there for free. Like it's a really great hotel. It's Red Roof Inn. But we had to stay at a Motel 6 or we didn't have to, but like that's where my husband found and it was a good price. We thought, you know, whatever, and it was pet friendly. So we were able to take Hugo. So we ended up staying there. But um, when we got there, it wasn't the best hotel ever. And they ran out of washcloths. So I had to go to Target and buy washcloths because I had a, a self tanner on. So I didn't want to use like a loofah and I didn't even take my loofah because I knew I had my self tanner on and I didn't want to rub it off. So I ended up having to go buy a pack of washcloths. So I got like six washcloths for like $2.99 or something. It was super cheap and it was a really good deal, but I didn't really need washcloths. But and then I went past this um, razor in Target. And I'm pretty sure they have this at Walmart too. I'm not sure. But it comes with two blades and then the razor. And the razor has like a grip handle on it. I think this is technically supposed to be like a men's razor. But I find that men's razors give a closer shave than women's. So I usually get men's razors. So I think this was $9.99. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So, I guess we'll see how good this is. And then, I also went by the Sonia Kashuk stuff. And I don't have a Target near me. So, I always, like, go crazy in Target. But, I got this eyeshadow brush. It's a crease brush. It's um, number 27. It's just, like, a rose gold kind of beige color. I thought it was really pretty and you can never have too many crease brushes and stuff. So, super excited to try that out. And then the last thing I got is a Ava and Viv top that was on sale for $11.48. This is just what it looks like. It has like buttons down the whole front and it's kind of like a ribbed material and it looks kind of cropped. So, I thought it would be super cute. And it's pretty thin, so it won't be too hot or anything. And I just thought it was super cute. So, I got that. And then, like I said, I did get those leggings there. And I got a pair of the Stars Above moccasins, which are actually in my living room. I forgot to bring those in. But I got those as well. They're super, super comfy. I've been wanting them. I've seen them online. So, I went and grabbed those. And then we went to Walmart one night to get something. I can't even remember what we went to get. But I looked around and they had some clearance. And the sandals that I took with me made huge blisters on my feet. So I ended up finding these on clearance for $9. I'm not sure like why they were on clearance because we're in Florida. Like Florida sandals but whatever um and we were in like the like southern southern florida so it was still hot but these are just cheetah print they kind of look like the birkenstocks they're super comfy i love them and i've really been into these kind of sandals recently so i thought those were perfect and then i ended up getting this shirt as well because it was on clearance for I think it was nine dollars as well so i just got this shirt and it's got like a tie detail up here or down here and it's a super comfy material it's the no boundaries brand so i thought it was super cute so that's all i got from walmart i mainly went in to get whatever we were going for and then I got those shoes which I was super happy about because my feet were killing me and then 
when we went to the outlet, the first store I went to was actually Nike, and they were having a pretty good sale, and then they also had, like, clearance and stuff, so I went, I got these socks, which are just, like, the no-show, because I need some good black socks, so I got those, and then I got this sports bra that was on clearance for $15. I don't have a lot of good sports bras for like working out and stuff so i got this one and i really like it it's really a good thick material so i don't think i have i don't have anything nike besides like a pair of shoes so pretty excited to try that and wear that and then i also went to torrid because i love torrid i had a credit card through torrid which i thankfully thankfully paid off because I went crazy and toured for the longest time but they were having a buy one get one free on the clearance so I got two bras so I got this one I think this one is the 360 like back smoothing bra it's hard to show you because I've already worn this one but I'm pretty sure it was the 360 back smoothing one i really like it i wanted they had like a cute cheetah print um on the mannequin but they only had the bra they didn't have the panties which i was kind of upset about but whatever and then i also got this one and this is the from the torrid curve it's the torrid curve plunge bra and i got both of these for like 39 dollars and this one retailed alone for like 40 something so it was a pretty good deal and i was pretty happy about that because i love toward bras and i just had a couple of my bras actually like the underwire snap so i needed some good bras so i got that and then i went to this little, little shop at lake worth beach and saw the lake worth beach t-shirt company and I got this shirt for my dog, which is actually a 2T, like, little kid shirt, but it fits him perfect, so I got him that. And then I got this super cute little shot glass, and it just says Beach Please, and it's got Palm Beach on it, so it's super, super cute, and I love it. I wanted a nice little um shot glass because i love floating shot glasses and stuff and then we went to bath and body works and my husband actually already took one of his body washes i think but it was like buy three get two free or buy two i don't know buy two get two free buy two three get one free i don't know it was something <laughs> something like that so i got these two things this is the bahamas passion fruit banana flower this is the moisturizing body wash and then i got the um body spray to match it, it smells really really good i'm super excited to use it it's a brand new scent they had just put it out the day that i was there and then my husband got the Midnight Mint, and then he got the newer one as well. That's his favorite. And then the soaps were four for 20, I think. So I got Island Margarita. I got Somebody Loves You, which is a sprinkled donut flavor scent. <laughs> scent, not flavor. And then I got Fiji White Sands and Waikiki Beach Coconut. I have been running out of soaps, actually, so I needed to stock up on those. And I always go to Bath and Body Works to get my soaps. And then my husband got the Atlantic Men's um, Hand Sanitizer. And then I got the Hawaiian Pink Hibiscus Hand Sanitizer and this cute little holder for it. I usually keep these on my keys, so I thought it was super cute, and it kind of just snaps in, so it's easier to put in than those uh, ones that you, like, 
the rubber ones. So I thought that was super cute. So that's all we got at Bath and Body Works. I didn't need a lot of stuff. Like I said, we, I really just went in there to stock up on my soaps. So I got that and then we went in, or I went in Starbucks because I wanted to get one of these little mugs that they have for like each city. So I got the Florida one. It's got like a pie and like car, flamingo, sun, palm tree, like a outside area. I don't know. I just thought it was super cute. And I want to get one for Kentucky as well. And then it's pink on the inside. So if you don't know, I'm from Kentucky. So I just thought it was super cute. And it was like $12.95. Yeah, they're $12.95. And it says been there series is what the cups are called. And I think they have them for like every state, if I'm not mistaken. So I thought that was super cute. And I wanted to go get one of those before I left. And then I have three more places. I yeah, I have three more places. And I went in Adidas and I didn't expect to buy anything, honestly, because I have wanted a pair of Adidas tennis shoes, sneakers. I don't know why I said tennis shoes, that was weird. Um, I've been wanting a pair of Adidas shoes for a while. And these, I loved these, but I looked on the thing and it said they were like 60 bucks. So I was like, well, I mean, I really don't need them. So I'm not gonna get them, whatever. But um, it was the Adidas outlet. So under it, they had a sign that said you got 40% off that price. So originally I thought, cause it said suggested retail $70. And I was like, okay, well it's $59.99 with the 40% off. So it makes it I mean, it's 70 with the 40% off, which makes it 59.99. But it was actually 40% off the 59.99. So I ended up getting these shoes and they are the Corsipaid Running. I'm not sure if that's even the name, but they're the Cloud Foam. And these are just what they look like. I like how like thin they are and they're super like flexible, super comfortable. And they've got like a good insole, very like memory foam kinda. And I just thought they were super, super pretty and so comfortable. And I love wearing shoes like this when I'm wearing like leggings and like a hoodie or sweatshirt. So I picked those up and I thought it was good cause I got them for like $35, which I thought was pretty dang good for Adidas. So I got those and then I went in American Eagle and they started carrying their bigger sizes in store. So, I thought, like, when I seen it in the outlet mall, I was like, I want to go there because they've got bigger sizes. So, I ended up getting these pair of plush leggings. Um, they're technically, like, joggers, but they're, like, they're loungewear. And they're just super, super soft. So, it's, like, this heathered kind of grayish black color. They're super, super soft. They're like tapered, which is why I originally, it was like buy one, get one 50% off um, jeans and jeggings or jeans and joggers. I think it was jeans and joggers. So I thought, okay, well, these are joggers because they've got like the bottom, but they weren't in the sale, but whatever. They were so comfortable. So had to have them anyway and they fit perfect. They were pretty form fitting, but I'm normally a 2X and these are an extra large and they fit great. So I got those and then I just got this pair of jeans and these are the next level stretch curvy super high rise jegging. 
I love this style. They're super comfortable. These are just regular ones. They don't have any holes or anything. I have some that have holes. Still love those, but I just wanted some plain, regular um, jeans. And these were a pretty good price too. They're $49.95, so I mean, I really like them. These are a dark wash and I just, I love American Eagle jeans. And I love that they carry bigger sizes in store now. And then I also got this sweatshirt, which the sweatshirts went on sale for like $27, I think. So I originally tried on, which I filmed a little bit in there of me trying stuff on. I originally tried on the cutest little camo sweatshirt, but they only had an extra large. So I thought, well, I mean, I look extra large. It looks big, but it'll fit me fine because that's normally what size I would be in if it's made larger. Well, <laughs> it was made huge, like hanging down on my arms. And it's kind of like a fashion kind of hoodie. So I wanted it, or sweatshirt. So I wanted it to be a little tighter, but not, not like too small. So... I ended up going back. They didn't have the camo in this, in the size that I needed, but they did have this super soft one that I was originally looking at anyway. It says a jegging fit. I'm not sure what that means, but it's this sweatshirt right here. It's super, super soft. Like I've never felt anything this soft. And it's super cute with like the little tie dye kind of thing. So, I got this sweatshirt, and like I said, it was on sale, and I had originally looked at this when I walked in, and then I seen the camo, and I was like, oh, well, this is cute. Like, I can just get the camo, but, I mean, either way, it's super cute. I feel like it will even look good with those jeans, so I'm super excited to wear that, and then the last place I went was TJ Maxx. And as you can tell, I went kind of crazy. They had so much Ray Dunn. I filmed a Ray Dunn Shop With Me kind of video, TJ Maxx Shop With Me video in there. There was so much Ray Dunn. I've never seen that much Ray Dunn. And my Marshalls, I don't have a TJ Maxx where I'm from. So my Marshalls like hardly gets anything. Like there'll be one or two things at the front register. And then throughout there'll be like their paper plates or like napkins, but there's never anything really, really good. So I kind of went crazy, but <laughs> it was like 50 some dollars for everything I got, which I don't think's bad. So the first thing that's not Ray Dunn that I got is this little instant pot thing to make those like egg bites. I thought it would be nice. I've wanted to make those egg bites for a while, so I thought it would be nice. And on Amazon, this is like 11 something, so I figured it was 9.99 there. I would just pick it up. And then I got this little travel coffee mug by Ray Dunn. It just says Hustle, and this was 12.99. And then I got this coffee mug that says coffee time and it's the black like matte kind of color I love these coffee cups and then I got this bathroom piece that says brushes and it's got like where you can put your toothbrushes this was $6.99 and then I got one more coffee mug and this is a white one and all of her coffee mugs are $5.99 and this says cup of sunshine I thought it would be really cute to put on my Keurig and use for spring and it's got like yellow on the inside they had a bunch of Easter stuff but I don't know I'm not huge on a lot of their Easter stuff but I thought these cups and stuff were super cute and then the last thing I got was this rug that says Splish Splash. It's a bath mat kind of rug, and it's 
it was $12.99 it says it compares at 20 but I'm pretty sure these like retail for more than that I don't know they had um a couple of these mats and then when the woman checked me out she actually seen like what it said and she said that they had another woman come in there and purchase another one that said uh something different so they actually i guess had more rugs than what i ended up purchasing but i'm obsessed with her stuff and it's just so cute like i can't help myself when i'm in a marshall's or tj maxx so i was super excited to get all that stuff so that concludes my haul pretty much um i did purchase like a hoodie um from that says like palm beach on it but i wore that yesterday so that's pretty much all that i purchased while we were going so it was a pretty good lot but i feel like i got some good deals and some good stuff so i just wanted to <laughs> show y'all really quick so i can start putting this stuff up now even though i don't want to but um i hope you enjoyed this little haul like subscribe leave me any video request like leave me any video requests that y'all want to see down below because i will definitely film any video y'all want to see and i will see y'all my next video bye guys